So, okay, so the answer to your question is what's happening? Are you going to film it? Okay, so what we have here is an aquaponics system, which is a marriage of hydroponics and aquaculture. And we do that because in the individual systems, you've got a lot of waste and inefficiency. But as soon as you put the two together, those inefficiencies are corrected. And what's happening essentially is we've got a hydroponic bed that's a soilless bed filled with gravel. And this bed floods. It's on an ebb and flow type of arrangement. So it floods every so often, maybe every hour for 15 minutes. Completely saturates the bed with fresh oxygen, I mean with fresh uh, ammonia-rich water. And that gets the roots wet and it also provides ammonia to the bacteria that live in here. And then after that 15 minute cycle, the timer goes off and water stops pumping and it all drains back down into the fish tank. And in that process, uh, after the after the ammonia saturates the beds, then the, then the oxygen replaces the ammonia because you're sucking in all that fresh air and you create an aerobic environment which facilitates the aerobic bacteria that convert the ammonia from the nitrate back to nitrate, which is the, the form for the back for the plants to utilize. And in that process, the ammonia is removed from the water, so the water that goes back into the tank is purified of ammonia and you don't have the same problems you have in aquaculture with removing ammonia and, and, and discharging water. Well, this is as nice as you have. <laughs> this is a, an aquaponics system that uses uh, a, a different form of hydroponics in that it's deep water culture as opposed to ebb and flow culture. And here the water is continuously flooding the bed. It pumps in here. You can see the water comes from the, from the tank down below, carrying the fresh ammonia and the fish waste. And Are there fish in here? Not today. Okay. But, but there, there would be. There, potentially you could have 50 pounds of fish in this 150 gallon tank. Wow. 50 pounds. A bunch of little ones, medium um, fish. That's a good ratio, or maybe uh, one, to, one to three ratio pounds to gallons is possible. But here we've got uh, water moving underneath the, this, this rack, which we designed to, to hold the little, little plant containers. And these roots will start growing into the water and dangling in the water and attaching all the, the nutrients that we go through. And then we also have a different form of water. Yeah, we use the water plants. This is just an example of how you can also uh, trap some of the uh, some of the waste. Um, you, some systems use clarifiers, which are ways of separating the waste from the from the water. But this is another means. It's a it's another um, it's a it would be a biofilter. Okay. So basically, it's a it's another biofilter where the where the plants and the rocks and the roots are are trapping the waste that comes before it gets under the beds, which you don't, you kind of want to keep the waste in the beds to a minimum because the roots bind onto them and they get, they get a little necrotic, they, 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 they don't get as much oxygen. How many of these do I have? I have, I have a few, I have like five of them, but I had to move them all indoors because the, uh, because the weather's getting a little chilly and, and tropical fish like warm. So they'll, they'll, they'll reside there for the winter and then We'll come back outside and do something like this. The greenhouse is ideal uh, for bigger systems, yeah. just to avoid the, the weather, the elements of the weather. But you know, these, you can keep them all on a on a patio or a porch, and if you just you know maybe create a canopy to keep the rainwater at a minimum, yeah. then you can make, then you can keep the, the, the nutrients up. Oh, schools like them, uh, uh, outdoor activity centers or recreation centers or like community parks that are, that are donating part of their, their, their city parks to uh, community garden space. We're doing some projects there. I like this one. Yeah, this, is like, this is like, this is like, this is like living room art. Right there. Living I, I call them living room gardens. Oh, no, it's not oh. Okay, it's kind of cool. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Oh, good. How do people find out about you? Oh, they call Leah Lamb at Current TV and say, where did that guy come from? Earthsolutions.com. <laughs>
Earthsolutions. Earthsolutions.com. All right. This is the Farm in a Box. Cool. Farm in a Box, guys. Yay.